hey y'all i'm coming today with a couple of videos this first video i'm pretty sure this is gonna you know a lot of people are gonna be talking about this this just happened last night wednesday today is thursday the 16th but i'm you know like i said i'm pretty sure a lot of people are gonna be talking about this um because this is really ridiculous um okay what am i talking about let me first say um this is what's on my nails um i did post a what's on my nails video my hair is just you know pent back i have a bang that's coming to the right that's pent coming to the right okay so let me just get into this video let me first let me start off by saying i do not and i want to try to look into the camera i tried to adjust this chair i do not watch share or like fight videos period point blank i i don't um i don't talk about fight videos i have only talked about one fight video on my page um because it was something that just bothered me so much you know i didn't watch the whole video i watched a few seconds and i could not watch it it bothered me that much so i did this was a while ago okay so this this morning i saw a number of my friends posting this uh, is not the fight it's the news that's why i said this is going to go this is already going viral you know so this is not gonna be the first you hear of it um this girl right here uh, you know is 16 years old um she lived in ohio uh she was on the softball team she was a junior in high school well i don't know why but i guess her and another girl she had a problem with another girl um another teenager and she went to an apartment complex to confront her and or i don't know if she lived there or what because the news just says she confronted the girl in the parking you know the apartment complex okay the two girls got into a fight now there are grown people including this girl's stepfather which is standing around watching them fight the girl was losing the fight she stopped she was like i i'm done the other girl she went in she didn't want to stop she kept on fighting the girl okay and from one of the witnesses you can tell like yeah this is not an even fight um this is a proof a very very brutal fight even in the news clipping because the video is like four minutes long it's actually two different news clippings in one video the first clipping has the lady who called the um police you know she didn't know the girls but she called the police which thank god for her for at least calling the police and in, in the video I mean, you know, on the recording, the um, 911 tape, she is saying, oh, my God, I cannot believe that these grown ass people. And y'all know I don't do a whole lot of cussing. These grown ass people is watching these girls fight like this. These girls is fighting like nothing I've seen. Like, it's clear. Like, this lady is stressing it. She's saying, oh, my God, y'all need to hurry up and get here. I just cannot believe this. She says this over and over in this 911 tape. In the second clip, you know, part of it, it's an interview with the lady who says she witnessed the fight. Okay, yeah, you saying you witnessed the fight and she just can't believe nobody ain't do what well, bit. I don't want to call out her name. But for you to say you can't believe nobody ain't do nothing, why didn't you do anything? Like, really? It, what ended up happening was a 16-year-old girl. Um, like I said, the other girl she fought is a teenager. They're not saying anything about her right now, but she is a teenager. Probably a high school student. Possibly went to the same high school. I'm not sure. This child, because she's 16, she is a child. After the girl, I guess it was tired or whatever. Well, her, the girl's father, stepfather, after a while, broke them up. Even the witness, you know, said, the one that was talking to the news camera, not the one on the 911 tape, she said, you know, they was like, well, after a while, he, he, he let them fight for a long time. Then he tried to break it. He broke it up. Well, once the girl, you know, she was staggering, like, you know, staggering or whatever. And she fell. She hit the floor. The girl died. She was dead. Okay. Y'all, I have issue with this on so many damn levels. First of all, the fact that 
grown ass people or even kids like me and my husband was just talking about this what what when did we when did we get into this world star hip hop society where everybody wants to world star nobody wants to help nobody nobody wants to break people up do you not realize when people get killed and they say cause of their blunt force trauma that's pretty much repeated blows with something you depending on how mad you are you can connect with somebody hard enough to cause serious trauma brain damage death that's that's real okay so me i don't understand when the hell did we get into this world star hip-hop society when did we when did that become oh you you cool if you post a video or if you in the crowd cheering on a fight that's cool that's cute but oh if you try to break somebody up oh you a lame you this you that like when 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 did we get to that point and for this for this child's own stepfather to stand there like if i was that child's mother it ain't shit you can say to me because pretty much you stood there and watched my child get beat to death like and y'all i don't care i don't care if this girl went to this apartment complex and confronted this other girl there is nothing there's no argument there is nothing that is worth losing your life over period point blank there, there, there's not <sighs> y'all this shit just got me so mad like i feel i feel so bad because this child was 16 years old you know a junior in high school you ain't even graduated high school yet who knows you may maybe have made it to the prom like you know because everybody posting the little prom pictures and all this hill stuff who knows you might you might have made it to prom you might not have but you 16 baby you ain't honey life ain't even really started yet honey that and that's real i know people people tell young people that you know oh you life ain't start, that but that's honest like to, that's real that's that's honest to me you you don't really start living until you are at a point where you're out you're on your own depending on your circumstances you know because because th things might get real you may have to get a job and have responsibilities at an early age i did um which i talked about that in the video because of my mom's health issues and stuff but for the average person life don't get real until you buy in college that's that's when stuff really get real now yes i did i did work but honey i enjoyed myself through college like my college years was great that's when i was partying clubbing like i was enjoying life my 20s this girl ain't gonna even make it to damn 18 she ain't gonna make it to 17 like and the fact i'm not the only person who feel like this i honestly feel like all them grown ass people that stood around and watched this child get fucking beat to death they they need to be charged with at least child endangerment because none of y'all intervened until it was too late y'all all stood around watching cheering this blows me like seriously y'all it blows me let me tell this story I was in I was in fifth grade and you know my little school our school was fourth and fifth grade so we had elementary school which was kindergarten through no it was fifth and sixth we had elementary school which was kindergarten through fourth grade then we had fifth and sixth in the school by themselves then we had seventh and eighth in the school by themselves and then we had high school of course nine through twelve now it's kindergarten through kindergarten through fifth are in the school together sixth through eighth and then nine through twelve so now it's a little bit different we were actually the last fifth grade class you know we 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 started middle school in sixth grade which was very intimidating like it, it really was it was very intimidating because you have kids that you know bigger than you well one day when i was still in fifth grade um you know how like 
older kids always get out of school earlier than the younger kids. So we got out. The high school had already got out. And sometimes, depending on how, you know, sometimes we would see high school students walking home. We would actually be like walking, you know, they'll be behind us or a little bit ahead of us. But this particular day, y'all, we was walking home minding our business. And these two girls, one girl I know, um, the other girl, I, I don't know who she was. Actually, they weren't even high. Let me correct that. They wasn't even high school students. They was in middle school because they were, um, I mean, they were getting ready to go to high school. Because one girl is the same age as my older brother. Well, these girls got to fighting, y'all. I can honestly say I was traumatized from this fight. Like, seriously. I have never watched, like, we was trying to run, but the fight was moving. Y'all, I have never seen anything like that in my life. It was blood everywhere. One of the girls was supposedly pregnant, even though she was in middle school. She was supposedly pregnant, and the other girl didn't like the fact that she was pregnant from the dude that the girl used to go with or something. I don't know. I don't know, y'all, but this girl, it was blood everywhere. She apparently, she lost, you know, rumors said that she lost the baby. Y'all, it was the worst fight I have ever seen in my life. And these were young girls, like not 18, you know, and it was traumatic. And that, that has always stuck with me. Maybe that's why to this day, I don't like to see people fight. And I don't like to watch fight videos. I don't share. I don't like it. None of that. Because you don't know. Like, you watch a video. You watch a few, a minute, two, whatever video of a fight. World star. You watch this video. You don't know what happens to the person after the damn Cell phone stops recording. What if this person is dead? What if this person was pregnant and lost their child because of the fight? What you know? There. What if this person you know had serious brain damage because of the fight? What if this person was paralyzed? What if anything? You, know, you watch stuff. You don't know what is the outcome. But people, we live in a society where honestly, it's crazy how. If you post something on social media about God or about something positive, you might get a few likes. But let you post some damn nonsense, some fighting, some world stuff, some this, some that. And, oh, yo, yo, child, you have 500 friend requests in three days. Your video go viral. Also, girls, females, ladies, when did, when did it become cute? Like, I've seen, I have family members who, like, one of my family members, I didn't watch the video. She posted a video of her home girl and another girl fighting. And they was going back and forth. And they was pretty much proud of the fight. I'm like, when did this become cute? Women, I mean, y'all, I'm happy that women now, more than ever, you know, we trying to be, in, you know, women of color, just women in general, you know, now women actually care about their bodies. They want to look good. They want to, um, you know, have their hair looking nice, whether you natural, whether you got weave, whatever. You want to look like something. You want women now try to get into makeup more, you know, especially women of color more than they did in the past. You know, you want your nails to be on point. You want this, you want that. Why are you going to mess all that up out there rolling in the street like a damn animal fighting somebody? Like y'all, I just I just don't understand this. I, I honestly don't. It's sad, it's pitiful. I don't get it. I don't know. I, I don't I, I don't understand what was the purpose. You know, now you don't stood by and watch your stepchild get beat to death. All y'all grown ass people don't stood by and pretty much watch this girl get beat to death. But now y'all gonna be holding y'all heads down. Y'all, if y'all hear something, that's Tika. because she out the door. She don't like being out there by herself. I'm gonna end this video, but I'm gonna talk about this right here also. Just about people not doing anything. There was another video. I didn't see the video, of course. Um, I just saw the news 
um, report about it. There was a man. It, it happened 2012 or something like that. He was on a New York um, subway and there was a woman that was asleep. This man sitting next to her sexually assaulted her on the subway. Uh, I guess he was playing in her cookie jar or whatever. Now, the person who filming this didn't do nothing. Didn't try to say, man, you don't need to do that, nothing. But they didn't post it at first, but eventually they posted the video. Because everybody, he, I guess he thought he was going to get some likes or whatever, I don't know. But because everybody went in on him, he tried to say, I was in fear for my life. That's why I didn't say anything. Now, y'all, come on. Now, thankfully, they did, because of the video, they found the guy. He was charged. But, y'all, how the hell are you in fear for your life when y'all on a public subway and you sitting there watching this man sexually assault this woman? Like, y'all, I just, I just don't understand the world we living in right now, y'all. People, please pray. Pray for your kids. Pray for yourself. But if you have kids, pray for your kids. I, me and my husband do not have children yet. But y'all, we pray for our children already. Because the world we living in, you have it's grown people, it's young people. People would rather see your child get beat to death than to actually help your child. Like, it's disgusting to me. The, the mentality of some people. Not all. I'm not saying everybody. Because if I see some people, some kids fighting, oh, I'm going to call the police. I'm going to try to break them up. I'm going to tell them, hey, y'all need to stop. I'm going to try to do something. I'm not fixing to just stand there and cheer them on. Like, and like I said, I'm sorry. I'm not the only person who feels like this, but all them grown ass people who stood around because I can understand kids doing it. I can understand kids cheering on other kids because kids don't damn know no better. But when you older, you supposed to know better. So I can, so at this point, since they got this teenage girl, they charging her with murder. Okay. Murder. I feel like all the rest of them grown ass people need to be charged with something. If nothing else, child endangerment. Now for me, honestly, I don't feel like this girl should be charged with murder. Yes, she did kill the girl. But, y'all, seriously, I don't think this girl was purposely trying to kill her. You know, maybe she needed to be charged with manslaughter or something like that, but not murder. Because I don't feel like her intent. Because, first of all, she did not, the girl actually came to confront her. So, that right there, to me, kind of takes away intent because she didn't go looking for a fight. You know, unfortunately, the girl who got killed did. But I, I'm still not trying to blame her because she's young. She don't know no better. She was, she was young. She didn't know no better. Them grown-ass people should have said, hey, y'all don't need to do this. You know, blah, blah, blah. Also, let me just say this real quick. And I'm going to end it because, Tika, to anybody who says, well, you do videos like Love & Hip Hop Atlanta from the start. I'm going to do videos on Love & Hip Hop Atlanta. Let me say this. No street fight, no street fight can compare to a reality show, whatever fight. I don't give a damn what fight it is. Jocelyn, whoever. I'm talking about it can be a good fight. You know, like, wow, I can't believe this. But there's no comparison because, first of all, if it's a real production company, these people care about their damn equipment. They ain't finna just let nobody act the damn fool on tv like because not because honestly not because they care about them people that's on the show just being real they don't care about them they care about their crew and they care about their equipment they not finna let nobody just act the damn donkey because that person can potentially hurt somebody in their crew their crew can sue and they can potentially hurt their expensive ass equipment so to anybody that said well we watch bella tv and they no it ain't no comparison a street fight is no comparison to reality TV. Y'all, I'm about to end this. Because Tika is out here screaming like somebody is killing her. Nothing is wrong with her. She is just tied up outside. She does not like that. She don't like to be out outside by herself. But I do thank y'all for watching. If you subscribe to my channel, thank you very much. I had to do this video because this really bothered me. If you don't and you just watched the video, thank you very much. Um, That's it, y'all.